happy kev it's teeny here and i just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and happy retirement and since you're gonna have a party for your retirement right now because of corona i decided to get videos from all your loved ones friends family and colleagues wishing you a happy retirement slash birthday i hope you really liked it and now that you're retired you get to do more things with me like take me to florida take me to softball games whatever i want to do you can do that with me and then in your retirement try not to fall off any golf carts or try not to fall off any boats and if you're if you ever get sad or lonely in your retirement just remember Hartford diamonds one bye love you you doing over there jim well i'm trying to help my uh my partner out al barton's coming over He's trying to figure out what he actually has to do over here, but I'm having a difficult time figuring out what Kevin did. Um, he doesn't even have a phone. I gave Al some work earlier, but he was done in like five minutes. But actually, let me, he's got some case books over here. Let me uh, go take a look at these. That might be something we can work on at least. Let's see here. Got what the heck? We haven't had a case in ten years. These are all just, they're all blank. There's no there's not a damn thing in any one of these books. They, let me see something. Got a calendar over here. Maybe they're working on a case. Maybe a hot case coming in or something. Oh, see, last week it looks like uh, they had some meetings during the afternoon with the Mr. Chip Holtle. What, what the? Scott, hold on a second. Hey, Robin Teal. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what Kevin did. Um, Kev, Klimko. Yeah, K-L-I. Never mind. I'll, 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 hold on. Hey, Bill. Duty. Listen, I'm trying to figure out what Klimko actually did here so we can give Al some work to do because he can't find anything to do. No, he didn't retire last year. He just retired today. Never mind. I don't know. We'll find something. But uh, just want to say, Kevin, if you're if you're listening, congratulations. Hopefully, uh, you'll find some things to do in your retirement. Good luck golf and happy birthday and be safe. We love you. See you, buddy. Hey, happy Kev. Birthday. Hey, happy, happy birthday. birthday, Kev. Congrats, Congrats on your re retirement. Enjoy your retirement, brother. We're going to miss you. It was well deserved. Yes, we are going to miss you. It's great working with you, brother. Take care of yourself. Excellent. Thank you. All right, Kevin. It's Josh here. You just left. There's your chair for the last time. Go around, see who can say goodbye. But there's nobody here because everybody retired. Or they're in California. Lindsay. Congratulations, Kev. Hey, Kev. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy and birthday and congrats, Kev. We miss you. Sorry, but that's everybody. Nobody else here. <laughs> okay. Good. Happy retirement and happy birthday, Kevin. Happy retirement and happy birthday, Kevin. All right. Hey, Thanks. Kevin. Happy retirement. Happy birthday. Sorry I couldn't see you before you left. Good luck. Kevin, it was an honor to work with you in Homicide. Thanks for everything along the way. On behalf of the best shift and the best precinct in the county, I'd like to congratulate you on 34 years of dedicated service with the Baltimore County Police Department. We will all wish you well in your retirement and hope you have many long years of golfing and concerts ahead of you. Congratulations, Kevin. Congratulations.
See you, buddy. Hey, Kev. It's Pete Grippy. Guess you know that already. Um, heard you're retiring on Thursday. And uh, Teeny wanted everybody to make a video for you. So here I am. Um, just want to congratulate you. Uh, I can't remember how many years you have, but I do remember your first night when I found out that I had Debbie Amy as a recruit and you got stuck with Jacoby. I believe we had some kind of an incident that night where we chased somebody. Um, good memories. Also remember a couple other things like uh, we worked that guy over down on Hillsway Avenue and uh, punched the guy in the face down on Dean Wood. And after I hit him, you were like, holy shit. And just stuff like that. Good stuff, good memories. But uh, I just want to welcome to the uh, sweatpants and shorts club. Because that's going to be your hardest decision for a while. Making sure, I mean, trying to decide what you're going to wear. Either shorts, sweatpants. Do I go with the t-shirt or the sweatshirt? You know, so easy stuff like this. All your hard decisions are over now. Um, I thought it was on the life of, uh, on the easy life when I retired until my daughter had a baby. And now with COVID, we're watching her every day. So I have a full-time job for a while. But... Um, when the weather breaks, we're going to have to go golfing and uh, maybe drink and have lunch or something. So uh, good luck, brother. You deserve it. I'm proud of you. I watched your career from the day you came out. I didn't know you when you were a cadet, but I, I knew you on your first night. And uh, I'm going to give you a cheers. Here's to you, buddy. Good luck in the future. Love you. Big Kev, a.k.a. the guru, a.k.a. the commish. Little teeny birdie tells me that you got a birthday coming up. I'd like to wish you a happy birthday. I also understand that you're hanging up the crime scene gloves for the golf gloves. That's very good. Uh, very well deserved. I think you'll really enjoy this next phase of life, and uh, you're really going to have fun in retirement, brother. Can't find anything wrong with it. Again, congratulations. Job well done, and I hope to see you soon. Have a good one. All right, good morning, Kevin Klimko. It's Gret now from Ocean City here in your new backyard in Montego Bay. We just wanted to wish you a very uh, happy retirement, and we're thankful that you're here to uh, enjoy every bit of it. Okay, we look forward to seeing you guys down here at the beach. So uh, enjoy, bud. We'll Congratulations. See you. Kevin, I want to congratulate you on your retirement. You were a pleasure to work with. And your dedication to hard work was much appreciated. You were one of the best. I consider you a great friend, and hopefully when the virus is under control, we can celebrate. Congratulations, and enjoy the next chapter of your life. Hi, everybody. Uh, Lisa, thank you for including me in this uh, tribute to Kevin. Um, Kevin, it's uh, been a long time since you and I met. Uh, we've been through uh, a lot of cases together, and we've had a lot of good times together. Uh, golf, softball, work. Uh, sorry we can't get together and give you the big party that you deserve. Um, you know, the citizens of Baltimore County um, should really thank you for all your service uh, and all your dedication to what you did and, and your big sacrifice. And to Kevin's family, thank you for sharing him with us. Uh, for all these years, uh, I know it was tough a lot of times, uh, but it really made a difference. So, Kevin, good luck. Uh, hopefully, we can see each other uh, and have a few uh, cold ones after all this uh, nonsense is over with. Um, but you really do deserve the big part. And congratulations on your retirement. I wish you the very best. It was an absolute pleasure to work with you from your early days as a cadet in the intel section. Time went fast, and uh, you've done very well for yourself. I'm very proud of you. Happy that you've made it healthy to this point, and wish you the best in health and happiness upon your retirement. Uh, I'll warn you that time does go by fast. I typically equate one week with three days now, because of, uh, every day is full. Hope yours is as full, and you enjoy every single bit of the retirement, and also, happy birthday. Thank you for enhancing the reputation of our department. I'm um, very proud of you. You take care. Bye bye. Big one. Big it. Congratulations on your retirement. I hope things are well. Here's to you for 2021. 
The sun's going to set here in a couple minutes in southwest Florida, but the sun's not going down on you, my friend. Many more days ahead. Have fun in your retirement. And enjoy life. Happy birthday, too. Cheers. I cannot believe you are actually retiring and leaving. But I am so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. You know I think you're awesome. Don't be a stranger. We have a gift card to use. And P.S. You're way cooler than Carol. Love you. Kevin, congratulations on your retirement. You served the citizens of Baltimore County and the Baltimore County Police Department for over 30 years. Uh, you should be very proud of your service. Uh, you helped countless families who were victims of violent crime, give them closure, uh, give them convictions, and um, we all owe you a debt of gratitude. I hope you have a wonderful retirement, many years of good health and happiness and best wishes. Uh, take care, brother. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to call me. Take care, bro. Godspeed. God bless. Goodbye. Hey, Kevin, just uh, want to wish you a happy retirement and a happy birthday. But uh, I just want to tell you what a pleasure it was to work with you for the years I was in homicide. And um, I tell you, the comfort you gave me. Uh, just knowing that I could go to you guys in that middle room and um, call on you as we did several times um, and you were always there for us and uh, you, you were just a great detective, you had a great career and I just... Hey Kevin, how you doing? Hey, I want to congratulate you on your retirement. You've had a stellar career. I thoroughly enjoyed working with you and I wish you continued health, continued success. More importantly, enjoy yourself. Congratulations to Lisa and the girls too. I'm sure they're happy for you. Cheers, buddy. Hey, Kevin. Just want to say congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. Enjoy it. Hey, Kevin. Happy birthday, old man. Hey, listen. Uh, congratulations on your retirement from the police department. It's well-deserved, well-earned. You guys, did, you and Carol did a hell of a job. You, know, you left no stone unturned. Just want to take a second to uh, congratulate you on your retirement and to wish you a very, very happy birthday. And uh, you, know, you guys already get down this way. Please feel free to come down here and go golfing. It's uh, December 30th, and I'm getting ready to tee off in a, about a half hour. Uh, beautiful golf go go courses down here. I think you guys will love it. So uh, let's just give me a yell. Take care, stay safe, and again, happy birthday. Hey, Kevo, Mike Letieri here. Want to wish you all the best in your coming retirement. It's well-deserved. Retirement's a wonderful life, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not even that big a deal these days to go ahead and drink. A little drink during the middle of the day. A little bourbon. Smoke a little cigar. But they frown on that shit while you're working. I don't know how you got away with it for so long, but uh, wish you all the best. Retirement's a good gig, man. You enjoy it, you deserve it. Take care. Well, hi, Kevin. It's your old Sarge here. Just want to say congratulations. Happy birthday. You finally made it, buddy. You earned it. You and Carol did such a great job together. And I know everybody's going to miss you in the department. So you guys have... A great rest of your life. Enjoy your families. And just enjoy, enjoy retirement. All right, buddy. Talk to you later. Hey, Kevin. What's up, buddy? <laughs> I want to congratulate you on your retirement. I'm happy for you, my friend. You did a hell of a job with the county police. They should be grateful for the effort you put in. I know it's your birthday coming up, too. <clears throat> And happy birthday, you old fart. We were kids, weren't we, when we first met? 19, 20, doing dumb shit and having a good time doing it. Well, guess what? You spent all these years looking down on the ground for evidence or property or bodies. But you're retired now, buddy, and now you get to look up. And sunshine and the flight of your golf ball or your flight of your softball or 
the home run into the left field seats at Camden Yards. That's what retirement's all about, my friend. Spend it with your family, enjoy every second. And instead of saying, nah, I gotta get to work tomorrow, I'm gonna pass, you get to go do it. You get to say yes. Keep me in mind, brother. I'm always down for some cold beers. You know it. Happy birthday. Congratulations, brother. You know I love you. Take care. Kevin Klimko, or should I say Mr. Kevin, you know we go way back, way back in the early 1990s at Shift 2 in Towson. We worked together for a while, played softball for even longer. He tried to kill my daughter in Richmond by giving her blue cheese at the Outback Steakhouse. But that's neither here nor there. You have three beautiful daughters and a beautiful wife, and I hope you enjoy your retirement for as long as you can. It's going to be looking forward to you guys building down here at the beach, and we're going to spend a lot of time at the beach. We're going to play a lot of golf, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Love you, brother. Take care. Hi, Kevin. Jake Ribbon here, in case you didn't recognize me. Living down here in Venice, Florida, where people are people and people are free, unlike the People's Republic of Maryland. Listen, I want to wish you a very happy birthday and congratulations on your retirement. Well deserved, Kevin. You are an excellent police officer and an even better detective. I enjoyed working with you and playing with you. Fantasy football, fantasy baseball, softball, and all the good things that we did. You just have a great time in your retirement. Spend as much time as you can with your family and enjoy them. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best health and your family, and I hope to see you down here visiting us someday and sit around and just reminisce on those good times we had before. See you, Kevin. Congratulations again. Not on one, actually two, Keno Doubler. Happy New Year. Congrats on your retirement. We're going to miss you. I'll see you on the golf course, bud. Peace. Oh, hey, Kevin. Didn't see you sitting there. Hey, uh, sorry I got the, didn't have the opportunity to uh, say goodbye to you your last day of work here because I was on vacation, but uh, I just want to let you know that um, you'll be missed. Um, working so many years ago with you in Towson on that original shift we had, a lot of great times, a lot of great memories. Worked with a lot of good people that we had the opportunity to finish our careers with, you and I, for example. Um, I can't say more good things about you than it probably have already been said, but I will say this. It was a pleasure. It was an honor. Uh, I wouldn't uh, trade that for the world. But um, all seriousness, I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm ecstatic that at the end of our ride, we got to work together again. Um, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Please stay in touch. Uh, you're a great friend and a, a great fellow uh, employee. Anything I need help with, you're always there. I appreciate everything. Um, again, uh, good luck with everything you do. Take care, buddy. I'll see you. Kevin, it was an honor and a privilege to work with you. You're probably one of the finest cops I've ever worked with. Um, now it's time to grow a beard like me, and we're going to play a lot of golf. And enjoy your retirement. See ya. Hey, Kevin. Congratulations on your retirement, and uh, hope everything works well, and happy birthday. Congrats, Kevin. Enjoy your retirement. Congrats, Kevin. Congratulations, Kevin. Enjoy your retirement. Welcome to the club. Hi, Kevin. Congratulations on your retirement. You're a good guy. You're one of the few that, anytime I ever saw you during, during work, you always seemed to be upbeat. And I'm sure your family can identify with that. But you're a good cop. And I wish the best to you for your retirement. Thanks for your service. And talk to you later. Hope to see it. Remember, there's life after the police department. Okay. Hey, Kev. How you doing, bud? It's your pop. Before I say congratulations, I want you to see that this is, this room I'm in, this is a gym. See? It's a gym. This is where men come to work out, to stay in shape. Keep all their trophies and everything like that. 
because they play ball. They continue to play ball. Say, so, hey, look, Mr. Personality, Warner Wamsley, best hitter, Warner Wamsley, champions. You get what I'm saying to you? You were a ball player once, boy. Look, amateur, Maryland Amateur Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, now that you're retired, you can uh, get back to it. You know what I mean? Please. Please. Uh, look, 1962, me, all-star. <laughs> hey, I'm busting your chops, man. I wish you'd start playing ball again now. Uh, I do want to tell you congratulations on retiring, and I'm glad you got out of there. You're a real cop. And I don't know what those people are doing out there or what they want you to do, but it's not real police work. So I'm glad you got out of there. I love you, man. And uh, when you get a chance, uh, you get up around my way, you got nothing to do, stop in and see me. I'll be moving to Florida probably within the next few months. I did get divorced from Karen, by the way. And uh, so I've got a new life going on. But uh, give me a call. I'd love to hear from you. Kevin? Just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. Um, heck of a career. Um, it's been an honor to work with you on the 10th floor um, and seeing what you guys do on a daily basis has been incredible. Um, wish you nothing but the best. Long, healthy retirement. You've earned it. You deserve it. Thank you for your service and good luck. Always here for you. I'm not going anywhere soon. I'm going to be working for a while. So call me you have my number hey Kevin congratulations on your retirement from the police department uh, January 1st I figured I wasn't sure what I was gonna say but then I thought this was appropriate because probably after being retired for a month or two Lisa's gonna regulate you to the garage so I figured this was the appropriate appropriate place just to say congratulations no seriously I was thinking I probably known you since the early 90s when we started playing on the FOP softball team. And when I think of you, I just think of a good friend, uh, a great family uh, man, a great dad, a great husband, someone who was always there for, obviously for the citizens of Baltimore County, but most importantly, your family. So I just wanted to wish you an awesome retirement. Well earned, congratulations. Happy retirement, Kevin Klimko. I love you. We had a lot of good years together, and I'm really uh, proud to have worked with you, and I wish you all the best in retirement. Signing off, Amy Prime. Hello, Kevin. Uh, Terry Sheridan here. Congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. Uh, this law enforcement business is tough stuff, and to serve as many years as you did with the exceptional performance is a real asset to you. Uh, the legacy you leave as the legacy of others uh, will forever be part of this organization. This organization is one of the best law enforcement agencies in the country, and that's because of people like you, people who go out every day and do their job with integrity, tenacity, competency. And it's terribly important that we have people like you in this vocation. Otherwise, our communities aren't safe, our country is not safe. I want to thank you for what you did. It was an honor and privilege working with you. And one of the exceptional things about you is that you're never looking for any kind of special treatment or any fanfare. You did your job. You did it well. And you hit the pinnacle of law enforcement in the Homicide Missing Persons Unit, investigating homicides, speaking for those that no longer can speak for themselves. It's exceptional. I want to thank you, Kevin, for the job you did. And I want you to have a good, exceptional retirement, long-lived, and enjoy your family. And it's a pleasure, again, working with you through these years. And God bless you, young man. Uh, see you. Happy birthday, Kevin. Or should I say, Mr. Klemko. Congratulations on your retirement from the police department. You have served the citizens of Baltimore County for so many years and given them everything. Now it's time for you to enjoy your retirement. I hope today you are surrounded by friends and family and have nothing but joy and love as you start a new chapter in your life. Look forward to seeing you soon. 
maybe play some golf and uh, take care. Miss you guys. It's going to be lonely on the 10th floor. Have a great day. And again, happy birthday. Hey, Kevin, just want to take a minute to tell you uh, congratulations and happy retirement. You deserve it. You've worked hard. Not too many people on the job I can say uh, saved my life and saved my career, but you're that person. So you saved my life when Wamsey was going to kill me when I switched softball teams. And you saved my career that night at Greetings and Readings uh, when uh, I was going to kill Jay Gribben and you held me back. So, again, thanks for everything. Enjoy your retirement. Let's get together for lunch. See you. Hey, Kev. Good morning. First off, congratulations. Happy New Year. And early happy birthday. Buddy, it's been a wild ride. Even though we didn't work directly together, we worked close together. And I'll never forget the Amit case. It was a good case. Tenacity. We stayed with it, and you got it done. So I just want to say welcome to the club. Look forward to seeing you maybe on some more trips. We get back to traveling. You and Lisa take this time to enjoy yourself with your family. All right, buddy. Take care and good health. See ya. Hey, Kev. Just want to say congratulations. You made it. I was thinking about some funny Towson stories the other day with Gary Hedinger over on Bonaire Road. I'm sure you'll have fun reminiscing with all those old times, with all of us and our Towson days. And just want to say congratulations. You made it, and I'll see you soon. Kevin, congratulations on your retirement. We go back pretty far from elementary school, middle school, when you broke my fingers, my collarbone, Played against each other, softball, coached against each other, coached together. Anyway, enjoy your retirement. Have a great time. And I hope to see you on the field again one day. Enjoy. Congratulations. So, Kevin, here's time for you to retire. So I just wanted to send you this little tape, a little walk down memory lane. I remember a day that I came to work and you had found a young girl who was missing, located her, and then uh, later that morning we got a call we thought was a nothing call. You went out with me and we ended up initiating a contract murder case, which later, about a year later, uh, the guy was convicted of conspiring to kill his, his wife. And then later that afternoon, you went home and uh, won your girls' softball game. So, what I like to say is, if you ever get bored now that you're retired, you can come out here and help me feed these little guys because I'm going to get about six more come this, uh, this spring. So, I want to wish you all the best, bud. Wish you a great retirement, happy time. You were a good, great detective. I loved working in the office with you and your partner my last couple of years on the job. And uh, you were a great friend. So I wish you and your family all the happiness in the world during your retirement. And, uh, and they're going to miss you there, bud. They're going to sorely miss you. So my hat's off to you, Kevin. You take care, bud. Hope to see you soon. Stay safe. Happy New Year. Say bye, girls. Say bye, girls. Oh, now you don't want to talk. Bye, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. I just want to send you a quick message to say congrats on your retirement. You've certainly earned it. It's been an absolute pleasure working alongside of you over the years. And I want to thank you for all the help and guidance you gave me as a young police officer and detective. I wish you the absolute best in this next chapter of your life. And uh, I hope to see you around, buddy. Take care. Hey, Kevin. First, I want to tell you congratulations on your retirement. It's awesome. Especially, you know, the job that you do. You provide for the people. Seems like you did a hell of a good job. And I'm really proud of you. It's really awesome. Congrats on the retirement. Happy birthday as well. I hear, uh, considering, I'm sure the way we probably grew up similar, that we even made it to this age. And uh, 
that through softball, I'm surprised none of us had any massive heart attacks because it was always a big deal when we did it. But happy retirement, happy birthday. You're a good guy. You've always been a good guy. I appreciate being able to call you my friend. Have a go, buddy. Take care. Hi, Kevin. I want to congratulate you on a distinguished career, a long career. Uh, you did what you'd love to do. And I wish you a happy retirement. Um, I know how much you love your, your wife and your three girls, and I wish you nothing but happiness. What do you think about Kevin Klimko retiring from the police force? Well, we'll help the police force. Whoa, okay, another another voice heard from. Tell us uh, your thoughts on that subject. Well, knowing uh, OK Milk, is his name Klimko or OK Milk? I can't figure it out. You know, it's, it's been so confusing to walk around and, and knowing that um, uh, he probably turned his name around. He's, he came out as OK Milk and uh, well, he has a wonderful sister. I know that, you know. So I, I'm just thinking and hoping that some of his sister's uh, characteristics just switch and move towards a little bit, you know. But I do wish him, you know, a, a good retirement. Uh, when you work hard and you put yourself on the front line, we, we give you the credit that credit deserves. So, Mr. Klimko, I'll call you Mr. Klimko. You deserve it. And have a good retirement. Kevin, here's to 34 years with the Baltimore County Police Department catching bad guys. Cheers to 34 more years of catching rays, spending time with family, and playing some golf. Happy birthday and congratulations. Happy birthday. Hey, Mr. Kevin, just wanted to send you congratulations on your retirement and also thank you for being what you were to my dad. Uh, you always gave us great comfort knowing that you were the one beside him these last 21 years and beyond that the brotherhood the friendship the fact that our families are now like family nothing like that can be replaced this dynamic duo of a partnership will definitely go down as one of the greatest in history i wish you well i send you love and hopefully we'll see you guys soon bye hi mr kevin happy birthday Hey, Kev, congratulations on your retirement. Hope you enjoy it. Happy New Year, bud. Thank you for all your years of service. Congratulations on your retirement. Hope you have a good birthday. Get your beach house fixed so we can come down and party. Thank, Thank you, you for, for everything, everything that you do. Hi, Mr. Kevin. Um, congrats on your retirement. That's really exciting. Um, we just want to let you know from the clients that we're extremely happy for you and extremely thankful for all of the service you've done. Um, we love you, all of us. Um, congrats on the retirement, and thank you again for your service. Hey, Kev, congratulations on 30-plus uh, years working for the Baltimore County Police Department. Well-earned vacation, <laughs> retirement, permanent vacation. Go ahead, you guys got something? Congratulations, Kevin. Thank you for all your years of service and protecting everybody. I'm sure you put a lot of families at ease that needed it. So we wish you happy retirement. Best of everything to you. Congrats, Mr. Kevin. Happy retirement. Uh, enjoy your time off. Um, thank you for your service and for all you've done for the community. Um, very much appreciated by myself and many others. So happy retirement. We'd like to take you out for some drinks soon. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Take care. <laughs> right, Congrats Bye. again. Oh, hi. Haven't seen you in a while. How you been? What's going on, Kev? Hey, listen, I hear you're getting, you're getting retired and you're having a birthday and all kinds of good things are happening for you in 2021. Happy for you, brother. Um, sure miss you at the games. <laughs> I sure miss games. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know who's going to keep me out of jail now. There's nobody behind me to flash a badge and keep the city boys from thumping me around for harassing Redskins fans. 
I'll let you tell that story to everybody. That was kind of funny. Cheryl, Cheryl says thanks every time I think about it. By the way, she tells, tells me when I leave for a game, you go to jail, you stay in jail. So, like I said, I don't know where my protection's going to come from, so I kind of miss that. I kind of miss getting introduced as double bubbles in the house. Nothing like that. I also miss kind of having a guy behind me go, Bubble, you're worth the price of, of admission. Miss that. But anyway, in all seriousness, my friend, I understand you're retiring. I'm happy for you. I hope it's a long and healthy retirement. Uh, happy birthday. I'd sing to you, but eh, I don't have any accompaniment. But uh, I hope you have a great time. I hope you have a great party. I hope you stay well. Uh, thanks to Lisa for, for reaching out to me. Um, it's kind of funny, the text she sent me. I don't know you by anything other than Double Bubble, but would you mind? Kevin's retiring and having a birthday. Could you send him a little goodwill? So goodwill, good luck. If you need anything that I can help with, you know where I am, brother. Just holler. I'll take care of it. Happy birthday, Kev. Happy retirement. Enjoy it. See you, man. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin! Bet you've never heard that before. Hey, you might not recognize me because I didn't have this the last time you saw me, five or six years ago. But this is son, obviously not your son, but uh, Raven's son, let's see, one row ahead of you, two to the right or so. Uh, I want to thank you for keeping Crandell, or I guess I should call him dad, out of jail at the Ravens games and congratulate you on 34 years and getting, putting your time in and getting out. So I hope you enjoy your retirement, and I'm sure you enjoyed the game today. Anyway, congratulations. Go Ravens! What up, Big Kev? Congrats on the retirement. It's been a long time coming. Now you got plenty of time to come lift with uh, me and this guy, play some golf, play some cornhole, drink a lot of Bud Light. Congrats again. Coach Kev, Coach Aid here. Congratulations on retirement. A great man, a good family man, a good dad, a good husband, a good friend. You've taught me how to be a good man. You've taught me how to be a good dad. You're a role model, not just to me, but to other people. If I am 50% as successful as you were, I'll be a very happy man. You're a guy that, you know, went out of his, went out of his way for absolutely everyone and anyone. Always offer to help. And you're just an outstanding guy, man. Congratulations on retirement. I look forward to talking to you soon. And I hope you enjoy this video as the many others. Uh, Teeny said there's a about a, an hours long video coming for you. And I think it just shows the kind of character and the kind of man that you are. And I hope you appreciate that. And I hope you look in the mirror and appreciate yourself because uh, you're a top class guy, man. Congratulations. Congrats on your retirement. Good luck on your new adventures. Hey, Big Kev, it is halftime of the Ravens game and we are winning, so that's a plus. And I wanted to take a few minutes to say congratulations on your retirement and um, thank you for your service and your sacri the sacrifices that you made for um, working as a police officer for all those years. Marco, you wanna say something? Big Kev, happy retirement, buddy, I'm jealous. Hey, wishing you the best of luck. I uh, hope you win a lot more softball games, just none against Parkville. See you, bud. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. All about softball. Speaking of softball, um, obviously that's why we are uh, longtime friends. So thank you for all the things that you did for Beffers for all those years and just for being um, an important person in her life and for showing her that there are very important and um, honorable men out there because before Markle came along, she didn't have very uh, many good examples in her life, so I appreciate all that you did for her, helping me out, getting her to games. Um, we hung out a lot for a lot of years, so awesome, and I definitely miss it, and it was so much fun. And thank you for, um, for all that you did, because that was also a lot of sacrifice and time away from your family so that you could teach our girls how to play softball and really have a love for the game. So I definitely appreciate you for that. 
and um, I don't know. Other than that, there's not a whole lot more that I can think to say except thank you for everything that you've done. Um, also, when my daughter had brain surgery, uh, you and Big Lease were probably one of our only friends that actually came over and visited and um, made sure Beth, Beth was doing well. So we thank you for that. And on that note, I'm just going to say cheers. I hope you know what's in here. But if you don't, a little bit of Jack Daniel. So congrats. This one's for you. All right. I'm going to take it downstairs so that Beffers can say congratulations. I hope you like your video. Teeny was super excited. All right, Beffers, where are you? Just say congrats. Congrats, Big Cub! <laughs> That's all you get for, from Beffers. You know, she's a... She's a lady of few words, but she definitely loves you. So congratulations and best of luck and enjoy. And like Markle said, we are super jealous. Hey, Coach Kevin, just wanted to wish you a happy retirement and a happy birthday. We miss you guys so much, but oh, we got to show off the shirt. <laughs> he still wears it to this day. Um, and I just want to let you know that, you know, without you, I probably would still be dropping pop-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we heard Parkville, uh, Baltimore County is going to be a lot less safer now because you're retiring. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you for your service. This is our new family member, Max. He's been saved by the SPCA, so we stole him from there. So, Yeah, and we can't wait till we can get back on that Carver Field so that he can make an appearance with, uh, you know, your and I can wear my shirt. scorekeeper. So, uh, again, happy birthday, happy retirement. Happy New Year. <laughs> Hey, Big Kev. Hey, Big Kev. Congratulations on your retirement. See you at the golf course. We hope you enjoy this next chapter of your life. Hey, Mr. Kevin. Congratulations on your retirement. Uh, we're all so happy for you. Growing up with you as a coach and, and neighbor, I never realized all the stress and hard work that went with your job because you never showed it around us. But now as an adult, I can only imagine what you went through over 34 years. So I hope you enjoy all the sports watching, pool days, beach days, and other adventures that retirement will bring you. I wish you nothing but the best, and you deserve all the happiness in the world. Congratulations again to someone I've always considered a second dad to me. Hey, Mr. Kevin, just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday and well wishes with your retirement. You definitely deserve it. Also, just wanted to thank you for giving me a chance with Parkville Thunder. I will always remember when you called me that one night saying that I made the team. Um, it was very surprising because I didn't think I knew a thing about softball. I wasn't so sure I was going to get to play with everybody, but I have you to thank for that. I made so many great memories and great friends in that experience, and it was a huge chapter of my life. So. Thank you again. Happy birthday, happy retirement, and hope you're doing well. Hey, Kevin Otter Klimko, congratulations on 34 years in your retirement. Hey, it's been a wonderful ride for you, I'm sure, just like the 12 years we spent together in community college. I can see that it all paid out for you. So anyways, until we can meet again, this is to you. Congratulations again, my brother. Little out. Coach K, my man, want to say happy retirement and all your future endeavors. You know, you've been with me for a while. You know, I thank everything that you've been a father to my daughter. You know, coaching with you, I know how much you love and your passion for coaching and law enforcement. Hope to join you one day. 34 years is a long time to be a police officer. But, man, I'm telling you, you did a great job. You know I love you. I love you like a brother. So enjoy your next journey, whatever that may be, my man. From coach to drinking buddy, congrats on your retirement, Big Cap. Happy birthday, congratulations, congratulations Big, Big Cap. We just wanted to say as a family that we love you and we're super proud that you've made it this far in your retirement and I hope your birthday and your retirement is the best you've ever had. So say happy birthday. Hey, what's up brother? Uh, I just wanna wish you a happy birthday early 
and also congratulate you on your retirement. Uh, it's a huge deal. I know you've been chasing the bad guys for quite some time, and you can finally rest easy now and let somebody else do it. Um, one of the things that I really want to go back and touch base with with you is the fact that, you know, I'll, through the years, you know, we've gone through quite a bit together. I watch sports all the time, and I always see, you know, great stories of coaches that were rivals on the field and friends off the field. I remember when I coached a ragtag team at Overly with a slingshot pitcher, and we ended up, all, all I wanted to do was to beat your team at Parkville, and you were my inspiration in order to come and try to, you know, play at the next level. Uh, we finally ended up having to go to church in order to overcome that because Overly just couldn't cut it. Um, but then we became rivals on the field, and we became friends off the field. Um, what's neat about that is that we share that same story as many of those different college coaches and high school coaches, and even to the point that we got to coach opposite each other in high school and maintain that friendship throughout. We had the crazy, one of the craziest probably high school games ever where it was whoever could score the most runs win, right? Um, and, you know, it, I wouldn't even be a high school coach if it wasn't for you putting the plug in with Mike West initially for me to go and uh, whoever could score the most runs wins, right? Um, and, you know, it, I wouldn't even be a high school coach if it wasn't for you putting the plug in with Mike West initially for me to go into uh, Patterson Mill. So uh, the one other thing, too, that I want to say is that, I, you know, it all culminates in us coming together at the end to coach probably what was one of our final, you know, travel ball teams together and win this trophy right here. And I think it would have been probably one of the best teams ever in Maryland history. Um, I, I give you a lot of credit for what you've done, for all those kids that you've helped. Uh, you've maintained a great family in the process. I uh, can't say enough about you. I'm super glad to have you as a fellow competitor and an absolute great friend. All right. Love you, man. And congratulations and happy birthday. Okay. My turn. So if I remember correctly, we were probably in our early 20s. You were in the early years of the police force and I was probably still in college. Um, you were telling me that you were going to work 20 years as an officer retire, work another 20 years in another county as a uh, teacher and coach some sports teams, retire from that job, and then maybe go into broadcasting. Me, uh, my goal was to finish college and try to figure out what I wanted to do when I grew up. Now fast forward 30 some years and um, you're just retiring from that first job. Um, you did manage to get some coaching in coaching some high school, college, I think, and uh, definitely your girls' teams, which uh, I think you really enjoyed and did a fantastic job with that. Um, and even dabbled with the uh, sports casting, if I remember back with home team sports. And at the end of that little stint, um, John Lowenstein made a comment that uh, you shouldn't quit your day job. Not sure if you were taking his advice, but you didn't quit your day job. You turned it into one hell of a career. Um, me, uh, I finished college and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do when I grow up. But in all sincerity, um, great job. Uh, congratulations on your retirement and the 33 years. Um, thank you for your service and congratulations and good luck with anything that you're uh, going to do in the future, whether that would be some broadcasting or whatever else that may be. And, um, speaking of, uh, when we grow up, um, you got a birthday coming and uh, happy birthday. And uh, when I see you, I can explain to you how you're catching up to me. So love you, bud. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, buddy. Congratulations on your retirement. Who would have thought 34 years ago while we were in high school, riding around with Tim Dapp, doing all his little antics in the back seat and everything else that you would have had a 34 year career in law enforcement. I'm very proud of you. It was a very good career. And um, along came your marriage and then it rained like hell that day. So not to be outdone, I got married and it rained even more. But anyway, I want to say congratulations on that chapter of your life. Uh, 
<laughs> now I look forward to seeing what you're going to do with the next chapter of your life. And um, as a friend goes, you were one of the best friends a man could ever have. And I'm glad our friendships lasted 40 years, and I look to 40 years more. Anyway, congratulations on your retirement, and I look to spend a lot of days eating lunch with you. And maybe you'll pick up the tab. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Kevin. I know you the most of your life. And now your retirement. My goodness, Kevin. Now that's all this year. I want to say I love you. Happy retirement. And happy, happy birthday to you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hey, Kevin. Happy retirement. Congratulations. You made us so proud over the years. Just a great job, buddy. Hey, Kevin. Um, my goodness. Um, I feel like we've been in it from the beginning so many years ago when you started in the academy. I can remember. Um, it's been such wonderful times we've all had together. Um, I don't even want to sit here and name them all, but and now we've all grown together and we are so happy for you. We're so proud of you. Um, we couldn't, we couldn't, you were the best. You were the best. Um, you've done us all proud. Definitely. Uh, definitely. definitely. We love you. Uh, wish you always the best and Happy, happy retirement and happy, happy birthday. birthday. Hey, Kev, Paul Romina here. All right, so uh, I just want to put a quick video together um, for you from the Raminas. Uh, we just wanted to say congratulations, Kev, for, um, man, what an awesome career. Uh, God, I got to tell you, I remember back, you were probably just out of the academy and saw you in Towson in the cruiser. So uh, pretty cool stuff, and uh, congratulations again with everything you've you've accomplished and and getting that to homicide and all that, which is great. And, you know, working alongside uh, my man, Bill Cordwell. So kudos to you, Kev. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, just super excited for, for you and the family. And congratulations. And, uh, and, and, hey, you know, look, I'm not a superintendent anymore, but we'll, we'll pull the strings, man. We'll get you out on that course and take care of those people that are, you know, doing the wrong things on the course, Kev. Right? Ball march, you gotta fix them. You gotta stay, keep the carts on the pass at times, you know? And you're gonna be the man for the job. So that's cool. And, uh, hey, you know, looking forward to hanging with you guys again in Ocean City. You know, I mean, come on, Beach Bocce, man, that's the best. That's the best. So, uh, so again, congrats and we're super happy for you. And, uh, hey, and, and, uh, happy birthday coming up. All right, Kev, take care, bud. Hey, Kev, congrats on your retirement. Dennis and Amy here, very happy for you. Take care. Talk soon. Congratulations. Hey, this is your friend Dave from North Carolina. I'm here to do a little fireside chat with y'all. We're going to talk about your retirement. Tomorrow you're going to get retired. And it's going to be great. You're going to be able to do what you want. Go anywhere. See all your friends. Like Pete. And all them other people. And I just want to say that here in North Carolina, we miss you. We hope to see you soon. And we want you to have a wonderful birthday and a happy new year. Take care. Wow, Kev. What a fantastic accomplishment. Um, as I think about you, uh, Finishing up your career, I think about um, some of the times we had together. It's amazing, man. I can't believe I got this stuff that fits. Um, can't remember. I just started going through some old stuff, and I found all this. I figured, what the hell, man? Let's put it all together for you. So this is getting a little hot in here, so we're going to just kind of unlayer here a bit. But... Um, the offer always stands, as uh, as you know, from my father uh, to go on top of the roof. But if you do, man, make sure you call me because <clears throat> I'm going to join you and we're going to partake. Maybe get a quarter K, get a few friends around, maybe after all this COVID crap stops. So, but um, I think it's pretty cool, man. It still fits. My son was wearing it the other day, put it on just for the hell of it. It's a little tight in spots, but how about this one, man? Real tight in spots. I was able to get this thing on. Unbelievable. So, um, but all in all, man, congratulations, Kev. I can't believe it. It's been this long. Um, I mean, you really need to get together. Um, enjoy your uh, afterlife as uh, 
as a normal uh, citizen of the of the world. So I thought I'd also show you this. Remember this, this, this car? That's pretty cool. I found this too. And um, this is really probably special to me because I never really thought I'd ever get this. What do you think of that though, man? I can't believe I ever got it. I'm sure there's a lot of people that felt the same way. So um, congrats again. Uh, enjoy. You got some free time on your hand. Come visit. Um, maybe next time I'll even wear the swag again. We can reminisce some more. Take care, my friend. Love you. See ya. Happy birthday, Kevin. We hope you enjoy your retirement. And in case you would like to relax, we can put this up for you. We even have a blanket. Please stop by. Hey, Kevin. I was going to say something funny, but congratulations after retiring after 34 years with the Baltimore County Police Department. That's a huge achievement. And happy birthday. And remember, happy wife, happy life. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Kevin, holy moly, good googly moogly. Retiring already. Hmm. You must be old. Or maybe you just planned better than the rest of us. So congratulations. Good job. Thanks for your service, and you have a good, long, happy, healthy future. Kev, congratulations. Your 35 years of service, unbelievable. Best of luck to you. It is well deserved. Enjoy your retirement. Just don't forget to invite us down the beach. And, um, it's well-deserved, my friend. Well-deserved. Enjoy. Hey, Mr. Kevin. Happy birthday. Remember the time you threw a bowling ball at me? We hope you enjoy your retirement. Goodbye, tension. Hello, pension. Thanks for all the help along the way. Uh, see you on the golf course. See ya. Hey, Kevin. We're expecting some serious improvement on your shuffleboard skills now that you have all this extra time to practice. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. There we are. Are we happy birthday in? Oh, happy birthday in and happy retiring. Oh, Lord. All that in one week? All that in one week. Dude, and the new year and 2020 is over. Did a good job there, youngin. Good luck, Kevin. You'll enjoy retirement. We'll come and find you one day when they let us out of our state. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Hey there, Big Kev. This is your favorite brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Wishing you a happy birthday and a happy retirement. 2020 was a crazy year, so now we'll know 2020 is the year the Big Kev got out of there. So we wish you a happy retirement, healthy and safe. Hope you have a blast. Here's to you, Kev. Uh, good job on uh, your retirement. <clears throat> we hope you and Lisa will have many year happy years in your retirement years. So... Amen. Kudos to you for making it that long. It takes a special person to do that, but you did it. And uh, here's to you. Cheers up. <sighs> hey, Big Kev. Just want to wish you a happy birthday and 38 years into the law enforcement. Hopefully retirement goes good and well for you. And start practicing on that, on that golf swing of yours because I'm coming after you. Enjoy it. Love you. Hey, Uncle Kevin. Just want to say congratulations on your retirement. I know it's been a long time coming, and the day is finally here. So enjoy. Also, just want to give you a happy birthday wish. You get the two-for-one special. Enjoy your days and the rest of your days off. Love you. Happy birthday, Uncle Kevin, and wishing you the very best in retirement. Congratulations, you did it. Baltimore County is definitely better off having you as not only a police officer, but also as a detective. Now you get to go enjoy all the concerts with Aunt Lisa. Congratulations again. Love you. 
Hey, Uncle Kev, it's Jenna here. Just wishing you the happiest of birthdays and the best of luck in your retirement. I'm sure it'll be filled of a bunch of beach trips and golf trips, so cheers to that. Thanks for being the best godfather a goddaughter could ask for. And Nick wanted to say his congrats, too. Congrats, Mr. Kevin. Go retirement. <laughs> Love you. Okay, here we are. Congratulations, Kevin, on your retirement. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And the dogs are safe. Happy birthday. Happy birthday and congratulations on your retirement. Right, Hey, Kev. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year and happy early birthday. But most importantly, happy retirement. Thanks for your 34 years of excellent service. Now it's your time. Go on and enjoy. You Congratulations, Big Kev. Kev. Remember, retirement, six Saturdays and one Sunday. <laughs> enjoy your Saturdays. See you soon to celebrate in 2021. Happy New Year to you guys, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. Hey, Kevin. Here's Chrissy and Ned wishing you the best for your 34 years of service to the Baltimore County Police Department and a very long and happy and healthy retirement. Go Ravens! We wish you all the best, Kevin and Lisa. We love retirement. It's fantastic. Your time is your own. And we're very proud of you, Kevin, and your family for supporting you through a career in public service of 34 great years. So enjoy it and see you soon. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy, Happy retirement, retirement, Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Today is Sunday the 10th, and it was a great Ravens game, right, honey? Yes. You thought of Kevin. They finally beat the Titans. He was a nervous wreck. <laughs> is it nice to watch football late on a Sunday and not have to worry about going to work in the morning? I bet you love that. Are you jealous about that, honey? Uh, no, because I usually I usually watch in the, it all night. Until yeah, well, he gets up late. I'm sure. I don't know what time, Kevin, you had to go to work when, when you worked, back when you worked. But I'm sure you had to get up early. All right, I found a couple quotes. One, a retirement quote. You want to hold that for me, honey? Yeah. This one, I wanted to find sports quotes because if there's anyone more into sports than you, well, Kevin, you, you're really yeah, into yeah, it. I, I don't know. Uh, he is uh, one is from Bill Russell. He's a basketball player. Yes. And he said, I encourage people to look at this moment as starting a new season in a different game. I thought that was so appropriate and good for Kevin. And then the other one, Luke said I had to find one from a Baltimore player. And I couldn't find much, but I did find one. Apparently, Ray Lewis had a an amazing retirement speech in 2013 when he discussed like leaving behind a positive legacy and his respect for the organization and all. And he said, hopefully I've done a heck of a job and it's time for me to go and create a different legacy. So I guess it's time for you to go and create a new legacy, a different legacy. I hope you enjoy your retirement. We love you and we're so happy for you. You're a wonderful guy. And I hope it's a long, long retirement for you. Yes, a long, long retirement. It should be. You retired young. Yes. You deserve it. Congratulations. And happy birthday again. And happy birthday. Bye. And action. Happy happy retirement and happy birthday, Uncle Kevin. Oh, I have some jokes for you. I have some jokes for you. When is a retiree's bedtime? Three af three hours after he falls asleep on the couch. How many retirees does it take to change a light bulb? Only one, but it might take all day. Happy retirement. Hey, Kevin. Congratulations on your retirement. It's about time. Uh, I remember the first time I met you. We went to a Ravens um, preseason camp. And you said to Lisa, I gotta take this punk ass lawyer. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Congratulations. Go Ravens. Congratulations on your retirement, Kevin. Amanda and I would like to send our best wishes as you head into 2021 as a newly retired man. While I sit here and think about how I was only six years old when you first started the job, uh, I can not say that I haven't had a better role model uh, than you and Uncle Ronnie. As I sit here with only 20 years on the job, a mere rookie to you, 
I have watched you both uh, throughout my life and aspire to be just as great. I look forward to carrying on the great police work that you both have set the standard for over decades, and I am proud to call you cousin, coworker, friend, and role model, and I wish you a long and healthy retirement full of family time and activities that you enjoy. Congratulations and Happy New Year. Hey, Kevin, congratulations on your retirement. I know it was well, well earned. I'm very proud of you, and thank you very much for your service and all the good things you've done over the years. Also, I want to wish you a little early happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day, and don't forget you got to play golf to stay busy. <laughs> so, bye-bye. Hi. Hey. Hi, Kev. Hi, Kev. Hey, Kev. Hey, Kev. Go ahead, Natty. Hi, Kevin. I um, want to wish you a great retirement. Enjoy every moment of it. I've known you since before you were born. Remember when your mom told me she was pregnant. Um, take care, and we love you. Dad? Okay. I met you when you were like six or seven years old, and I've been watching you since then. And it turns out... Creepy. It turns out, it turns out you're a stand-up guy. <laughs> Enjoy your retirement. I've been retired for 17 years. And however good you think it's going to be, it's going to be better. Yeah. Kev, I wanted to uh, say I'm happy to hear that you are uh, retiring. Very looking forward to it. And uh, I'm a little jealous, if I'm going to be honest. Um, 17 years away myself. So uh, you can tell me how you spent all your time um, when I get to that point. But anyway, in all seriousness, congratulations. Congratulations. Hope you have a fun retirement with all of us. Bye. Bye. Hi, Kev. Aunt Joyce here. And Nancy. We just want to give you a little bit of advice about retirement. Some people say it's really easy. You just lay back. You let things happen. And we're here to tell you that is not totally true. You've got to do a lot of studying. And you got a lot of decisions to make. And one of the hardest ones is you got to find out where is the best happy hour. And you got to look for the best prices. You've got to go look for the food. Is it indoors? Is it out? I mean, you really got to study and work hard so that you get the best bang for your buck. And then after that, You've got to study about the golf tournaments. You got to be up on that hunt. You got to know which court tournaments are being played. You know they usually start on Thursday, and then they have the finals on Sunday, and they play Friday and Saturday. And you just got to know where they're played because you might want to go watch one. But they're all on TV. And then you got to make decisions about what coworker are you going to send that picture of the beach to. In the middle of the week, you're sitting there, you're out on vacation somewhere, you're at a happy hour, and you got to figure out which coworker that's still working you can text that picture to. Because you know they really want to know about what's going on in your life. And then you got that <clears throat> golf again. You got to know what the weather is, hon. You got to stay on top of that, and you got to know what day of the week you're going to play on, and don't schedule it after a heavy rain because then it's cart path only and you've got to walk your ass off, hon. So just stay up on those golf tournaments and, and then uh, study that weather. Be ahead. Be proactive, hon. And the other part of it is when you're retired, you got to know what day it is. You got to study that newspaper. Sometimes you got to look at your watch. You got to figure out what day of the week it is because every day seems like it's Saturday or Sunday. So you've got to figure out, can I go to the bank today? Nope, I can just look and see what day it is, and I can look and see what day my retirement check is going to be deposited into my bank account. Yep. And last but not least on alarm clocks, you've probably been, oh, wait a minute, let's have a little drink on that. <coughs> there you go. But back to those alarm clocks, you probably used one, either that or your wife was your alarm clock. I'm not sure which way it went, but here is what you can throw away and not have to worry about. Oh, my. Oh, my. Wake up. Wake up.
So aren't you glad you don't have to hear that every morning? You can just relax, get up when you want, eat breakfast when you want, but uh, there might be a honeydew list when you do get up laying on the counter somewhere, and you might have to do a little vacuuming here and there, but you'll have more time to do that, okay? Cheers, Kev. Cheers. Happy retirement. Thank you for your service to our community. Cheers. And if you need advice on retirement, there's a lot of us out there that can help you out with that. Just give us a call. We'll be there. Cheers. Cheers. Hey. Happy retirement, Kevin. Thank you for your service. Enjoy your time on the golf course. Hit them long and straight. Congratulations, Kev. So happy for you all these years. I'm looking forward to your new adventure. Can't wait to see what happens next. Congratulations, Uncle Kevin. I'm looking forward to more trips with each other now that you're retired. We always have so much fun together. And I'm so proud of how far you've come with the job. Happy Congrats. retirement. Bye. Hi, Uncle Kevin. I just wanted to say I hope you have a happy retirement. I'm super happy for you. You get to play all the golf you want now. So congratulations and enjoy it. Congratulations, Uncle Kevin. Congratulations on your retirement. Hope you enjoy it. You deserve it. And we also hope you have a great birthday. We love happy you. Happy birthday. birthday. All right, we'll see you soon. Love Bye. you. Love, love you, too. Happy birthday. Happy retirement. We, we love, love you. you. Happy retirement and happy birthday. I hope you enjoy that retirement life. Love you. Hey, Dad. Congrats on a long, successful career. Happy retirement, and we're looking forward to the next chapter. Congrats again, and we look forward to hanging out over this long retirement. Love you. Okay. Hey, Dad. Happy retirement. Um, 34 years. You've definitely earned it. We're super proud of you, and we're definitely excited for all the memories and all the beers uh, post-retirement. Congrats, Mr. Kevin. 34 years is a long time. Glad you finally get some time off now. See ya. Oh, dark wind. What did you say? It was a cold, dark, windy, rainy night or something. And what happened? When somebody knocked at our door. And then what happened? When we opened, there was a little skinny policeman. <laughs> And he wanted to see Lisa's parents. Little did we know, he wanted to remove her from our home. So we had to take a second look at Officer Ken. And then we decided, just by looking at him, and the way he, we could see he was shaking. Beady little eyes. Yeah, beady little eyes. And we could see that this was a person who, who wait, let me see, who had a major question to ask. Taking a second look, I thought of something that somebody once told me about Lisa's father. He was gonna make me an excellent husband because he was such a good son. And the skinny little policeman was an excellent son to his mother. So what could we do but to say, you have our blessing. As her proud mother and father, remember daddy said that in church, as her proud mother and father, should we include that he promised she could finish school, or just forget, he promised us she could finish school. And that put the icing on the cake. She was his in a short period of time. So, we need to know, he came to love that skinny little kid. <laughs> so, happy birthday, Officer Cannon, ex Officer Cannon. And I'm very, very happy. Retirement and continue to be that good husband because you wouldn't want to disappoint her father. How's that sound? Um, yeah. Hey, Kev, I'm so proud of you, and I know that your father and pop are looking down, smiling as you retire from the police department. Congratulations and happy birthday. Love, Mom. 
Hi, young honey. Happy birthday. Happy retirement. I hope you've enjoyed this video that Teeny has put together. I cannot believe it's over. It's probably going to be close to an hour and a half by the time it's said and done. It's just amazing to listen to these people who have such great things to say about you and the funny stories that some I didn't know or hear before, so that was kind of funny. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing what you've done. And I'm just so proud of you. I can't believe that you finally made it and so excited that you have you know we've known each other for I think it's over 40 years since sixth grade that's pretty amazing let that sink in over 40 years and you just turned 53 that's wild but it's been a very fun ride couldn't imagine having this ride with anyone else but you um I think back to when that guy that sat next to me in ninth grade, I think it was Oakley's English class, where he'd always give you half of my lunch or my crumpets or my Fritos or whatever I had that day that I would share with you. If somebody would have told me, hey, this guy here, he's gonna be your husband one day and give you three beautiful daughters, that I'd been like, no way. And then if you would have told me, yeah, but he's gonna be a cop for 34 years. I would have been like, you're kidding, there's no way, but you did. It's amazing. It's an amazing job you've done. Um, just so thankful that you've made it this far with the health scare you gave us. You know, there were so many nights when I'd watch you like put on the bulletproof vest and put on your gun clip and walk out the door. You work at midnights. I didn't know if you were coming home that night. It wasn't fun, but you always came home, thank God. So, you know, listening to these stories about, you know, what a great cop you were and detective. I mean, you just, you really didn't bring the job home. So it's just kind of funny to hear the stories. And I think you often have underestimated yourself. I think you did a great job everywhere you went um, in the police department. So... I'm very proud of you and just so excited to be part of this life of yours and excited for the second chapter to start. And maybe one day I'll have my second chapter when I can close down my computers for the last time so we can be retired together. Looking forward to the beach house, looking forward to many memories that we're going to make down there and hopefully, God willing, we'll have some grandbabies in the beach house eventually. Looking forward to that. But in all seriousness, it's just, you're amazing. And I feel so fortunate and lucky to have been the one you picked to share it with. Our story is pretty amazing, I think. I can't imagine doing this thing called life with anyone else but you. So enjoy your retirement. You've deserved it. You've worked hard for it. And um, I guess that's it. I love you. Bye. Well, partner, here it goes. Man, I have nothing but admiration for you. As a father, as a partner, as a friend, as a man, uh, you've been been so wonderful for 20 years uh, 20 years that I hope turns into 40 years 60 years however long we have on this earth but I want to wish you a special retirement you've earned it we earned it together uh, I couldn't have done it without you 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 were there when things were tough you were there when things were great and we share a lot of common common life choices and football and and golfing now i mean our trips were special we enjoyed the music we enjoyed the camaraderie exploring food god at <laughs> tarpon ben uh the food at tarpon ben wow uh, memories I'll live with forever in my life. 
And uh, I hope they continue. I hope we make new memories. Hopefully this Florida trip <laughs> will be one for the ages. And uh, you and me and Donnie and Matt will have a hell of a time. And then from there on, the girls, Lisa and Rob and us and Mike and Rachel, we can all continue to enjoy our, our friendship. I put this in the background because one of the best times of my life was down at the Super Bowl with you and Rob and Matt. And uh, I know this is getting long, but I love you. You're my buddy. You're my friend. And I always need you. Take care. Until we see each other soon. <laughs>